ASH 2015 coverage continues from Orlando, Florida. I'm Thomas Baldrick, joined now by Dr. Betty Hamilton from the Cleveland Clinic. Thanks for stopping by from your conference and spending a few minutes with us. No problem, thanks for having me. So let's talk about this study of yours that you have data for here at this conference. So yes, this um, what we're presenting on Monday is a um, study looking at um, myeloid mutations or common mutations that are found in myeloid malignancies um, and how they're associated with post-transplant outcomes. What did you do and what did you find? So working with um, one of my colleagues, Dr. Masajewski, in his lab, um, we have a large database of patients in which um, we have subjected patient samples to um, targeted next generation deep sequencing and, and we're able to take a look at their um, mutational analysis and, and mutation panel. Um, we then um, followed them through transplant and um, did analysis to evaluate the mutation and how it relates to relapse, overall survival, and relapse-free survival. Um, with the hopes of identifying mutations which are um, significantly associated with survival. Um, and what we found was that um, not only complex cytogenetics, which is known to be associated with poor survival, is associated with poor outcomes after transplant, um, but in particular it seems that mutations in um, TET2 seem to predict for poor survival after transplant. So it seems like there are possibilities with this study. Yeah, so um, there's a lot of data um, at this meeting even, um, and over the last few years, trying to understand the biology of myeloid neoplasms, myelodysplastic syndromes, and acute myeloid leukemia, um, and the way um, the molecular, I guess, architecture of what um, drives the cellular events of these um, myeloid neoplasms. Um, and so, you know, I think that we'll, we'll be increasingly using this um, mutational panel or um, trying to find mutations and, and correlating it with either a treatment response or outcomes. How would you go, go about from here? So we are planning on um, continuing our study. So our, this current study was consisting of 123 patients. Um, we have probably about 200 additional patients that we plan on analyzing as well. So we need to confirm and validate our, our current findings in this study. Um, we also plan to try to look again at the sort of um, clonal architecture between um, before transplant and then after transplant. And if we can identify um, certain mutations that um, may be markers of min minimal residual disease and can predict relapse before it happens. You talked about the uh, amount of data here at mm -hmm. ASH mm -hmm. 2015. What is your impression of it in terms of quality? Um, so it's, it's really been fantastic. I mean, so thus far, I mean, you know, today's the first real day of all the sessions and there's been a lot of, um, there's um, an overwhelming amount of data out there and, and um, how people are looking at not only individual mutations or lesions, but the combination of them, the interactions with cytogenetics, the um, clonal hierarchy or burden of the different mutations, um, and the different type of mutations. So um, there, we're learning more and more. Well, congratulations on the start to your work and uh, best of luck going forward with All it. Right. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.